24 minutes in the books and 24 good minutes for Indiana. Look at Miles Turner follow his own shot, and he's got that. Wow. And then off the inbounds. Paul George, easy as you please, that's, leaving that's leaving LeBron James to wonder what. <laughs> I don't know why he mad. Like he here. mad as his man. Yeah, exactly. Rotate. I don't care who mad it is. Seventy. <laughs> I think he was giving Jason Terry five. <laughs> to forty nine is the halftime <laughs> score. I want to know if you show that play again. Sure, we can do that. Why is he like mad at somebody else? Because he was giving Jason Terry five like J.R. Smith did. A couple of <laughs> no, that's funny. <laughs> like uh, if that's his man, and now he starts yelling at people like. <laughs> That's funny, man. Help me. Help me. <laughs> That's funny. And that's why you're not working the finals if, it, if, if the finals go back to Cleveland. American Express teammates <laughs> right there. in the first half. Paul George, you're going to talk. you got to back it up. And he he has been 23 points on with eight of eight free throws, nine boards, five assists. Lance Stevenson and Miles Turner, a couple of guys he criticized or tried to motivate in his words, also on that page. And we talked about that at length when we came on the air, uh, him trying to get the most out of those guys. I don't know how those guys' motors are, but I know Lance is from New York, and I've never met a soft person from New York. Thank you. So the media was wrong, but it actually worked. Because, again, you know, some guys, you, you know, you have to motivate them with tough love. I was the type of player, unless you curse me out, I couldn't play well. Yeah. All that, all that soft talk. I need to rebound. I don't want to hear all that. You need to curse me out, get me gone, <laughs> tell me I'm soft, love criticize me, you. and then I start playing. So Paul, if I tell you, you Paul George, TV by the way, stuff like that. You gonna pick it up a little bit? Nope. I'm just gonna come over there and punch you in your face. <laughs> Paul George, oh, uh, 21 uh, points in the last in seven face. minutes. It'll of be the some first furniture half. moving around here. Yeah, let's you help, please. Let's yeah. Yeah. Paul, uh, enough Paul, idle Paul came out, led by the example. Uh, like I say, he was wrong to, after the first couple of games, but he's leading this team. Because when you're a great player, especially in an elimination game, because this is definitely an elimination game, you have to just say, boys, follow me. We're going forward. Right. And he's leading by an example. And you got to understand, Kenny had a great point. Uh, and, and, Kenny, you will get to make a point before yeah. it's all No, no, no. This is something we talked Maybe. about the last couple of games, not just tonight. They're better when Lance Stevenson plays the point. He's a better floor general like, uh, than Jeff Teague. When he's run their offense, they're better. Yeah, he gets them in the offense. He gets them in the areas of the floor. Jeff Teague can still play on the court with him because he's a better shooter. So he penetrates and bit. But I'm going to show you. Oh, Ernie, I thought you was coming. I was thinking about I it. I thought you was coming. Thought so better of it. What I, what I would yeah. really just, if you look at I just thought that there was a concerted effort to make things happen by Lance Stevenson, Miles Turner, and everyone who came into the game. So as Corbett comes down and gets this shot, boom. Lance Stevenson can rebound push the basketball, freeze it. Because now he's got Richard Jefferson in, 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 a, in a police position, hands up. He is in the middle of the floor because he's getting them on his heels and he's attacking the defense, which allows so many good things to happen if you run the floor. His ability to push and get you on your heels and be a good player. Now you got two point guards out there. You got Teague over here in, in the pick and roll. And you got the ball movement. Lance is over here. But now Glenn Robinson comes in. Everyone was attacking early. You had a lot of great movement. And then Paul George again, getting you on his heels, moves to the back. Ellis from the corner. I just thought it was overall ball movement, body movement. But Lance Stevenson and having two point guards on the floor, to me, separates Indiana. And I think they're better when they're both on the floor, those two guys. Cleveland may lead this series. But Indiana's been getting what they want offensively. Well, they they all, shot 50% the first two games. They should be down to one. 57% in the first we said half that, year. Like, Cleveland's just not a good fit, uh, a defensive team. Everybody keeps saying that. They should be. They don't have a defense player. Yeah, now, nothing, they, were a better def they were yeah, a better defensive team last, cool. last year than they are this year. They were last year. They were well, last year. They were. Because, I, because I think that J.R. Smith played better defense and Shumper played better yes. defense. Yeah. But they, they haven't been the same this year. So 74. Now, the Golden State Warriors play good defense. Thank you. Yeah, they do. About I'm, time. You number made, three, defensive <laughs> efficiency. 74-49 <laughs> at the half, Pacers. Until they own on TV night one night. <laughs> to the American